Yes, it's wrong, period. It's not about blacks. The blacks kill blacks in black neighborhoods every single day. I've never seen a black life matter in those neighborhoods. But if a white person kill a black person, black life matter. Stop the hypocrisy. Exactly. Let's talk about it. what's good everybody welcome to the channel hope you're having a blessed day how's my day going i'm too blessed to be stressed man no matter what happens in life man i just live by that motto too blessed to be stressed well today we're starting off this is the first video of the channel so i'm excited for this um i've been wanting to do this for a while i've had this on my heart for a long time i've been on youtube for a while i don't have no big channels or nothing so don't, don't come at me like like i think i'm a superstar or whatever but um yeah, I have a, another YouTube channel called The Dad Level, where that's, you know, you can go check that out. Make sure you go check it out. I'll leave the link in the description, and you know, I'll show you a little picture somewhere down here. Um, I do a lot of fun stuff on there. Like, you know, my dad, I got a bunch of kids, so, you know, we do fun stuff on that. That's my goofy side and all that. That's the that's that's that side of me. This is the more serious um, side of me. This is the more Christian side of me. This is where I want to express my faith and try to help teach and reach people you know do ministry um so that's what this one's about this video is about black lives matter and it's a touchy subject for so many people it's been talked about for so long and there's so many different viewpoints on it i just wanted to share mine and give a little insight of how i feel about it um i hope no one gets offended we can discuss it in the comment section you know i'm, I'm open to discussion with people but this is how I feel, and I felt like this for a while. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. First, we have a video here that I want to show you. It's, um, it's a, a Black Lives Matter video that I found, you know, on the internet. Um, and you know, let's just watch the video. You know, this is the typical, you know, we got, you know, showing a lot of signs and the protest and stuff. The peaceful part of it. You know, they get into showing names. Um, All these names, all these people that were, you know, unarmed and killed by, you know, what they say, racist cops and stuff. So many names, right? And it's sad. No, no violence. Just, just hear me. Hear me. No violence is right. None at all. So don't think anything that I say is pardoning people for, for, for their violence. I'm not doing that at all. I just want to make sure that we're living in the reality of reality and not off of feelings. A lot of feelings get in, into, get into play and get in the way. Feelings definitely get in the way. Let, let's, let's continue. Um, his memory. Yeah, let's let's skip ahead. George Floyd. You are yeah, so they talk about George Floyd. Because you know, we all know that story. To march. These are protests. I guess they, you know, a bunch of protests around the country. To dance. You know, a lot of this 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 happened. This is actual footage and stuff. To be quiet. This is what the the Black Lives Matter um, wants you to see about the movement. All right, we get the gist We're of it. All right. Names. So, with that being said, yes, there were a lot of people peacefully protesting, saying that Black Lives Matter and the Black Lives Matter movement, um, to many people, is just talking about how black lives do matter they want black lives matter to people and when it first started that's how i felt i felt like i want them to know that my black life matters and i was in the emotions of all the situations going on just like many people are to this day but i'm a thinker like i i like to think for myself i'm a realist i like to i, I don't i don't want to just go off with something and not you know look into it and, and you know feel different about it um get all pr perspectives so to speak so we'll roll to the next video and um 
Yeah, that's the last one. We'll roll to the next video. That one's a little, um, I'm gonna have to blur that out. Um, we'll skip, we'll, we'll skip ahead. This is the part of the Black Lives Matter movement that a lot of people don't want to talk about. They don't want to talk about all the violence. Look at them. They're, this doesn't look like a peaceful protest. This looks like a bunch of people out there acting a fool. This looks like a bunch of people out there, you know, being violent and being damaging to people's property. That that doesn't... How are you going to get your message out if you do stuff like that? Riots, protests and looting have broken out in Minnesota as black... Riots, protesting and looting. And they did stuff like this video. Let's let's see this one. This this is another video that I found. Um this is a cop car. I forgot where this is, but you know, they're Copy out that. there protesting. Uh, here we go. And right, what is oh, what oh, what is oh, smashing oh a police car window have to do with has oh, this officer wow. been accused of any violent crimes towards black people? You know? No. Well, look at them. They, they get angry. Holy they're just attacking. Christmas. How do you get someone to listen to you if you're doing this? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We've if got this two, is what you're doing. Cruisers. They broke two police car windows. This is what they did. And it looks like they're what holding up traffic, on, too. There's, I mean, what, there's not much to say about this, man. Like, to be, to be honest, I'm going to be honest. Um... I started to think this, I mean, this is a while back. Um, I started to think about Black Lives Matter and I was starting to wonder, well, they're saying, you know, they're going after white people, right? And saying that, well, they want Black Lives to Matter to white people because all these white cops are killing um, all these unarmed black men and young kids and stuff, which has happened. But, Right. When does Black Lives Matter? When 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 will Black Lives Matter to Black folk? Is the question I I keep asking. But we're not gonna get into that first. First, I want to show you something else. I want to show you something else. Give me one second. Let's get this this picture up. The black population, 13.6% of the country, just 13.6, could be more, could be less. It's around there, around 14, we'll say a rough number, 14, 15%, all right, of the, of the population, all right? That's a small percentage. Now, we're not, we'll get into this one first. It says here, if you read it that blacks commit 60% of all violent crime. 60%, only 14, roughly 14% of the country. We're not even a quarter of the population in the country, right? But we commit 60%, over half of the violent crimes in this country. And yet we have a Black Lives Matter movement. I want to get, let's, let's, let's look at the other picture. The other picture I got, let's, 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 let's check in this one, right? Let's, let's get rid of that one. The number of people killed by police in the United States from 2013 to 2023 by ethnicity. White people, the white people line is significantly bigger than everyone else's. The black people line is, you know, fairly small. So where where's this narrative that they're running with that black people are being killed by so many white cops are killing so many black people? Um, I think the number was a hundred and twenty. I, th I think it's on that. Let's, I think it's on that graph. And it's not on that graph, 
But it's like 120 something. Right. But think about the number of black people that are killed by black people. I think we're in the thousands already. So really, the Black Lives Matter movement should be more talking to themselves, talking to us, us talking to us, not us talking to other people about how our lives matter, but us talking to us about how our lives matter. There's so many violent crimes, there's so much black on black crime. It's ridiculous. But yet there's a narrative out there that it's racism in this country that's that's causing this. You got to think like this. This is how I think, man. This this is this is truly me. This is coming from me. And this is not because I've been um, programmed to think anything. If anything, it's the opposite that you all programmed to hate each other, programmed to hate white people. Never look at yourself and never fix anything and never find a positive solution. Me, how I see it, man, is I'm a black man in this country. I have kids. I have a job. I own a home. You know, I don't see the effects of the systematic racism that they're talking about. I have a lot of cop friends, a lot of white cop friends. Um, I've come across a lot of police officers. I've been pulled over numerous times. I've never been shot, pulled out my car, beaten. I've never, I've received one ticket, two, two tickets in my life, not speeding or anything. Wasn't doing anything crazy. You know, I live life alongside the law. Like I, I, I follow the law, you know, and the law is for everyone. It's not just for black people. It's for everyone. And the law is all the same for everyone. Why is it that so many people are complaining that, it's a disproportionate amount of black people in jail and just well, you you saw the numbers we commit 60 percent of the violent crimes so if we commit in 60 percent of all violent crimes and we're not even a quarter of the population we're doing it to ourselves we're causing this for ourselves and we got to stop we got to stop we got to do better we got to be better you want to see change be the change you want to see I, I don't know where i saw that be the change you want to see in this world that's from somewhere but it's true. Be the change you want to see in this world and stop blaming other people for your plight. Because if we're committing 60 percent of the violent crimes in this country, right, then we must have some kind of anger issue. We must have some kind of violence issue within ourselves, you know, and you can go and blame the, the, the community and racism. It, we could talk. The, I'll make a whole nother video about slavery and the effects and what slavery was, the real of slavery. I'll do a whole different video, but you know, you can blame all that, but right now no one was a slave that's alive right now. None of your people was a slave that's alive right now. So stop with this narrative that, you know, okay, things happened in the past to everyone. All right? White people fought to free the slaves. So did black people. We fought alongside each other. All right? So a lot of things happened in this world. White people fought against white people for, to conquer their countries and conquer all this. It happened to a lot of people. This, this is just human nature. Stop blaming other people for that. Because I know when you get pulled over, you can't blame the fact that people who you've never met, who you've never seen, who you never know, probably aren't even in your bloodline. The fact that they were lynched, the fact that they were hung, that they died in slavery or, or whatever. You can't let that be the reason why you or not cooperating with the officer, while you resist an arrest, while you got drugs in the car, while you got guns in the car, while you have a warrant for your arrest, while you haven't paid your, or you don't have a registration on your car, no insurance on your car, while you have all these things that are against the law, and you're breaking the law, and you get pulled over for breaking the law. You can't blame stuff that happened in the past that's not even your past on those facts. The fact that you're breaking the law, and that's why they pulled you over. There's black officers pulling over black people. You're going to say they're racist too? Come on. come. We got to stop. We got to stop. Um, I'm a Christian. Um, this, is, this is part of what I got to do is bring you to the scriptures. And in Matthew chapter 26, verse 52, I'm going to read from the King James Version. Um, 
Then said Jesus unto him, Put up again thy sword into his place, for all that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Now, what did Jesus mean? It means that if you're going to be violent, then you're going you're gonna to live by violence. You're going to act out violence. Violence is going to come back to you. Right? And so these, these people are being violent and doing violent things, being angry, showing aggression, and killing people, robbing people, and then wondering why it's happening to them. So we need to stop living by the sword so that we don't die by the sword. Like I said, I'm a black man in this United States of America, this wonderful country, and I have never been arrested, never been convicted of a crime, never committed a crime. I've only been pulled over and gotten a ticket a couple of times. I've only been pulled over a handful of times in my life. And not once was I ever pulled over and was pulled out of my car, asked to get out my car. Never was I yelled at, beaten, or anything like that. All right? Never been shot at by a police officer. Never. All right? I'm a gun owner legally before this. You know, I live in Florida before they you know, did the whole, um, concealed carry for everyone and all that stuff. Um, I had, you know, got my concealed license and I own three, three guns. Oh, can I say guns here? So should I say pew pews? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So I abide by the law. I live by the law. I, I work hard and, you know, I pray, I stay prayed up. I go to church, I pay my tithes and, you know, I just, you know, wait for God's blessings, his grace and his mercy. And, you know, I do my part. I do faith without works is dead. So I make sure I'm doing my work and keeping my faith strong and not committing crimes. So stop complaining that you are being arrested and, and jailed and, and, and all this nonsense, you know, because of some systematic. No, no, it's not because of some system out there. That's what person. We got black billionaires, man. We got black millionaires. We have black business owners. We have black people in, in political, um, you know, in, in the political arena. They're out there holding positions of political power and high power in, in states and cities. And we had a black president. Listen, there was no system that's holding us back. If anything, the system that's holding us back is our system. Our system of, I got to rep my turf. I got to rep my city. I got to rep my hood. I can't be no punk. You're not going to punk me. I'm the man and all this, this gang violence. That system, that system right there is what's holding us down. That's the oppressive system. And it's of our own making and of our own doing. You can either choose, because I came from the hood. I grew up in the hood. Yonkers, New York, Riverdale Avenue. Shout out to my peoples. You can either choose to get up out of there and do better with your life and make the future, the present and the future better and for your next generation better and break all these generational curses. Or you can keep blaming other people, hold no accountability within yourself and watch what keeps happening. Like I said, it's a generational curse. It keeps happening because everyone's they're just blaming somebody else and not themselves and not fixing themselves. Once you fix yourself, life will get better. Once you think that, okay, maybe I'm the problem. Maybe I shouldn't be violent. Maybe I should be more welcoming. Maybe I should be more, you know, accommodating to people. Maybe I should give white folk a chance. You know, I've been told all my life that white folk is white, white, white devil and all that stuff. No, I got a lot of white friends. Shout out to all my white friends, man. I love y'all. We're all human beings, man. We bleed the same. We eat, we eat fried chicken. They eat fried chicken. Everybody eat fried chicken. You know what I'm saying? We, we all laugh at jokes. People got different sense of humor. It's not based on the skin color. It's just based on the person. You know, let's stop looking at skin color, you know, like, like in, in demonizing some people's skin colors and, and demonizing the police. Man, I have a lot of police friends, man. Shout out to all of them. Let's, let's, let's do better with ourselves. Do better with our heart. It starts with God. Get a relationship with God. Find Jesus. Read the Bible, go to a church, find a church that's preaching the word, teaching the word and focusing on the word. I know there's a lot of churches out there and I apologize for them. That's, you know, peddling the word, using it to make money like it's a, you know, a money machine. 
churches need money so that they can pay the lights, pay the like, you know, pay the electricity, pay for the water, you know, pay for the property taxes and pay for the upkeep and stuff like that. So yeah, you know, giving some money in a church makes sense. It should make sense to you. It should help in that capacity. But you know, there are churches out there who their pastors and stuff are driving the Rolls Royces and stuff, <laughs> you know, using the church money for that. You know, not to say that every pastor that, because my pastor, she drives a BMW and um, she's a retired um, educator. She was a principal, I believe. And she made her money and she, she gets her pension, you know, that's where she gets her money from. She worked hard in her life for that outside of the church, you know, and it was through her faith, through her work in the church that God blessed her. I, and I know there's not everybody's story, but don't don't let anything like you go to church for yourself. You go to church to work on yourself, to get yourself a closer relationship to God. Don't worry about the other people. Out there, right? It's like a hospital. It's a bunch of sick people in there. All right. You don't you're not going to walk in and see a bunch of people who are well. You're going to see some people who are well who are trying to help the sick. All right. So that's what you go to church for. All right. This video has been long. I am Paul Pablo, whatever you want to call me. But this is Vessels United TV. And I thank you for watching the video. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Make sure you check out the merch. So my Etsy shop, I'm gonna leave the link down here somewhere. I'll put it in the description. I got some good merch. I'm wearing merch right now. Let's move this microphone. Vessels. Let God pour into you so that you may pour into others. That's the motto. That's what we're going for. That's what we're trying to do. We're going to keep reading the word. Keep letting God give me the, the love, the knowledge, the wisdom, and all that stuff. And I'm going to try to pour it out to you guys video by video word by word i thank y'all y'all make sure that y'all like share and subscribe see you on the next video peace and love y'all i'm out